Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 8 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of Season 8 you could put challenges as your party assists so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is, apply shields, and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is, visit different clocks and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, eliminate opponents in snobbish shores or mega mall and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, damage opponents with assault rifles and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 5 is, land at paradise palms and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of 5 for the fifth challenge is, Land at Neo Tilted and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The third stage out of 5 for the fifth challenge is, Land at Mega Mall and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The fourth stage out of 5 for the fifth challenge is, Land at Pleasant Park and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth and final stage for the fifth challenge is, Land at Junk Junction and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, use a volcano vent, air vent, and a zipline in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, eliminations outside of named locations and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is apply shields and if you apply 400 shield you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. You will get this done while playing normally but if you want to get this done quickly, go into team rumble as you can get lots of shields as more chests and supply drops spawn. The second challenge is, visit different clocks and if you visit 3 clocks you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The location of the first clock is in the center of Happy Hamlet. The second location is at the south side of Neo Tilted. The location of the final clock you need to visit is in the debris in Junk Junction. The third challenge is, eliminate opponents in Snobbish Shores or Mega Mall and if you eliminate 7 opponents you can get 10 Battle Stars or 1000 XP. Snobbish Shores is way of the side of the map so that place will most likely have not many players. So you should go to Mega Mall as there will be more players there as it is more in the center of the map. However this might mean that you can't get any kills as there are lots of players so if you want somewhere quieter, go to Snobbish Shores. The fourth challenge is, damage opponents with assault rifles and if you deal 500 damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following. Common, Uncommon, Rare, Epic, and Legendary Assault Rifle. Epic and Legendary Tactical Assault Rifle. Uncommon and Rare Drum Gun. Uncommon, Rare, Epic, and Legendary Infantry Rifle. Common, Uncommon, and Rare Heavy Assault Rifle. Uncommon and rare scoped assault rifle. Simply just wait until you come across one of those previous weapons and then use it to shoot your opponents. If you are struggling, 
play duo or squads and when you knock someone finish them with an assault rifle. However the best game mode will probably be Team Rumble as you can respawn. The fifth challenge is a stage location and the first stage out of five is, land at Paradise Palms and if you land there you can get 1 battle stars or 100 XP. The second stage for the fifth challenge is, land at Neo Tilted and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The third stage for the fifth challenge is, land at Mega Mall and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The fourth stage for the fifth challenge is, land at Pleasant Park and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The final stage for the fifth challenge is, land at Junk Junction and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. This one is very easy. All you have to do is wait until the battle bus goes over the location you need to land at and then land there. You could try to do this with other challenges. The sixth challenge is, use a volcano vent, an air vent, and a zipline in a single match and if you use all of them you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The easiest way of doing this is in the video. First, go to the air vent on top of the sky platform next to pressure plant. Then go down to the volcano vent south of pressure plant and glide. Slide over to the zipline that goes up to the outpost. The final challenge for week 8 is, eliminations outside of named locations and if you get 5 locations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You will most likely come across a player while you are rotating into the storm so once you do, try to kill them. And that is all the challenges for week 8. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, Thanks for watching. Bye.